Guy Fungi. I want to do a little review on the Levin, I guess that's how you say it, L-E-V-I-N, um, portable solar power pack, solar charge and by USB. Um, it's apparently weatherproof <coughs> and um, it says it's a 5 amp or 5,000 milliamp uh, power pack charged by solar panel that's built into it and um, be a, uh, you can do it also through a USB through the micro micro uh, USB port you can charge it from a computer or whatever device and I'm going to take it outside and we're going to show you how it works right now um, correct direct sunlight always is nice um, but anyway this is the uh, 11 solar panel uh, portable has a little clip which you can uh, comes with it and you can clip it onto this and carry it on your backpack or whatever so let's go outside and take a look at how this uh, device operates it's weatherproof it's not uh, don't dunk it in the water it's not water resistant it basically has a USB plug on this side which is one amp a USB plug on this side one amp and a charging uh, micro charging which you can use this part of the cable if you don't have one this one snaps then you can use this to charge your iPhone the old style and by uh, pressing the button once shows you how much power you have in it clicking it twice will uh, activate the LED press twice again okay I've got this little uh, USB meter really gives you an idea of what you're putting out Again, I've got it connected to the iPhone here now. Nothing gets activated until you uh, basically turn it on. Press it once. You heard the phone. Uh, it's charging. And let's see how many milliamps it's putting up. And this little device is really nice. Uh, flip to amps. And again, the output is one amp of the... Uh, 11 device and it's putting out 940 milliamps which is charging my phone which is at 77 percent it is not at this time so the device works very well and i've used it i've gotten about two good charges a uh, dead phone and uh it's a really really nice little system there Here's a little experiment I want to do with a simple little solar panel. Um, putting it behind glass, windshield specifically, how much change and basically power does it, does it, will it drop? Alright, this is in direct sunlight. And now I'm going to put it behind the windshield. Sunlight. behind the windshield there's a little drop not much and what I've learned it has nothing to do with the UV protection on the windshield because uh, UV uh, the photons uh, are not strong enough anyway so it's visible light so there is a drop not much as you can see on this uh, meter now okay this is in direct sunlight then I put it behind my windshield in a vehicle and those who put uh, their little charging devices or power packs or whatever on the dashboard to charge you're it's not as much as efficient plus it gets hot so as you can see the little teddy bear there swinging back and forth a little solar panel dash but again it's it doesn't take much 
and again direct sunlight right now it's in direct sunlight put it behind the windshield all right now I'm gonna do it with a little watt meter here. I'm not checking watts I'm just checking volts so in direct sunlight we got 9.86 let's drop it behind okay it's behind the side window passenger side behind the windshield the Rexon.